When a Windows 11 display starts flashing black, shimmering, the cause is almost never mysterious. Nearly every case comes down to two things, a bad display driver or an app that doesn't play nicely with the graphic card. So here in this video, I'll show you how to isolate and fix them. So let's start with the first one, the first check that is you have to check if the driver or the app is causing the issue. So before starting anything else, use your task manager as a reference point. Just open your task manager. You can use control alt and delete to open or just right click on the start and then open the task manager. Now once the task manager is open, if you see the flicker or goes black along with the rest of the screen, then you can make sure that this is because of the display driver problem. So you have to go and fix the display driver. Or the second scenario is that the task manager stays stable while the rest of the desktop flickers. Then that means this task manager stays stable, but the rest of the things in the background or the apps are keep on flickering. Then you can make sure that the specific app or component is misbehaving. So then the next step is to find out which app is causing this issue and then you have to remove it from the utilities. So keep this observation in mind. In cause is the main decision point for the rest of the troubleshooting. Turn off the task manager and let's move to the fixes. Now the first thing you have to do is to quick reset or restart the graphic driver. So Windows has a built-in keyboard shortcut to restart the graphic stack without rebooting. You do not require to reboot your system, but there is a built-in keyboard shortcut that will restart your graphics instead. So for that, you have to click on Windows logo button in your keyboard. And along with that, you have to press Control. Then along with that, press Shift. Then press B. As you see, the screen will briefly go black and you should hear a beep sound. If the flicker disappears and does not return, you are likely dealing with the transient driver glitch. But if that doesn't solve the issue and the problem comes back, then move to the other permanent changes. Now the next option is to fix screen flickering caused by display drivers. When the task manager flickers along with everything else, the display driver is almost always involved. Updates, rollbacks and clean reinstalls are the three main tools. So the first option is rollback. Now this method can be used when the flicker started right after a Windows update or driver update. So for that, just right click on the start and then go to the device manager. And now from here, go to the display adapters and right click on your display adapter. In most of the cases, if you are using the Intel, then it will be UHD graphic or it can be Nvidia or AMD based on your uh, display adapter. Now just right click on it and then take properties. Now go to the driver tab. Now if you have the rollback driver option enabled, then do a rollback and then click on confirm. If the rollback driver is grayed out like this, what you see on the screen right now, there is no previous driver stored. So in that case, you will need to update or reinstall instead. From here, if you don't see a rollback, just go to the update driver click on update driver and then use search automatically for drivers and follow the rest of the prompt. Just click on it. And now it returns that the best driver for your device is already installed. If you have a driver update, it will be listed here Then go ahead and update it. And after updating, restart and watch for any flicker over the next few minutes of normal use. And if it doesn't click again, then that solves your issue. If that doesn't solve the issue, the next option is to reinstall the display driver. Just right click on the start, go to device manager and from here to the display adapter and right click on the graphics. Now you have to select uninstall device. And so now once the uninstall is complete, restart your PC, Windows will attempt to reinstall a basic display driver automatically. And once you are back to the desktop, you have to install the latest recommended driver from your PC maker or GPU vendor. Now the next is how to fix the flickering that appears only when you are playing games or 3D apps. Some Windows 11 system especially 
laptops with Intel Iris Xe graphics handles older DirectX games poorly. And as a common symptom is severe flashing or strobe effect as soon as a game launches. So there are several angles to treat this kind of problem. You can see the tables as I mentioned here. The first scenario is one or two legacy games flicker, everything else is stable. In that case, the typical cause will be the game engine not fully compatible with the modern DirectX 12 drivers. In that case, what helps is compatibility mode. Now the second scenario is flicker starts after a GPU driver updates but only in 3D apps. In that case, the typical cause can be driver regression in specific DirectX version or optimization. In that case, what helps is roll back the driver or install slightly older version of vendor driver. Now how you can toggle compatibility settings for problem games. For example, if this is your game, Red Shadow, just right click and take the properties. Now just go to the option that is compatibility. Go to this tab and enable run this program in compatibility mode. Here you can see that this is the option. Just select it and then select the old version of OS. You will get all the versions here, such as Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP. You can select the older version and also disable full screen optimization. Then click on apply and then relaunch the game. Now the next option is to fix screen flickering caused by apps or utilities. If the task manager remains solid while the rest of the screen flashes, you are dealing with an app or a shell tweak or a display optimizer or overlay utility rather than the core graphics traps. So in that case, you have to update or remove incompatible apps. So you have to start with the apps that affect the desktop or graphics directly. So what you have to do is you have to first update the graphics. For that, if you are using the Microsoft Store, then what you have to do is go to the start and from here, just open the Microsoft Store. And from here, go to the library. And then install all the updates. Now, after installing all the updates, you can quit this window. And for traditional desktop apps, use each vendor built in updater or download the latest version from the official website. Now, if the flickering still continues, you have to remove those candidates. So, for that, just click on the start from there, open the settings, and then go to apps, and then click on installed apps. First, you have to do is to sort by installed date so that you can easily understand which app is causing the issue. And you have to uninstall anything added around the time the flickering began, especially system level utilities. Now, once you have uninstalled that, restart and test after each removal. You have to do it one by one. Don't do all the install at instance, you have to do it one by one and then restart and check if that's causing the issue. Then once that is done, you can close down this window. The next thing which you have to check is to, you have to adjust key display settings that often trigger flicker. So for that, just go to the start from there to the settings and then go to display, go to the system, then to the display and then make sure that the refresh rate, animation, wallpaper behavior, hardware acceleration, all intact with the graphic driver. The misconfiguration there can exaggerate or trigger flickering. You will get to see all the options from here. Just go to the graphics from here. Just turn off optimization for Windows game and then go down and just click on the app or the game which you feel is causing the issue and, and expand that app setting. And if it is on the high performance UHD graphics, then change it to power saving in the UHD graphics. And now once that is done, just go and restart that game and see if it's still causing the issue. Also, some of the old unsupported refresh rates can cause intermediate blinking or shimmer, particularly after system reinstall. In that case, just right click on the desktop and then go to the display settings. And from here, go and open advanced display. And from under the choose a refresh rate, select a recommended value. If you have the options like 48 hertz and 60 hertz, stick on to the one marked as recommended. After changing the value, wait for a few minutes, then see if the behavior improves or decreases. 
Now the next thing you have to check is to change the background and accent color behavior. Animated or auto changing backgrounds and accent color have been linked to visible flicker or some configuration changes. So in that case, just go to the start, then go to the settings. And from here, just go to personalization. And from here, go to background. If it is in slideshow, just change it to picture or solid color. Now go back and in personalization, just go to colors. You will see two options that is automatic and manual. From here, select it to manual. Once that is done, you can close down this window. Now the next fix or solution is to turn off animation effects. On some systems, Windows and UI animation triggers visual flashing, particularly after an OS upgrade. So again, in that case, you have to go to the settings. And from here, go to accessibility. And then here you will see on the right side, an option named visual effects. Just open it. And now you have to turn off this animation effects. After doing this, the desktop will feel more snappier and more realistic. If the flicker eases or disappears, you can slowly re-enable effects later to find more comfortable balance. Now the next fix is to disable hardware acceleration. That can be system or browser. Now for that, you will have to open the registry editor. Just right click on the start and uh, click on run here, rich edit. This is registry editor, just open it. Now go to this location that is H key current user software Microsoft Avalon graphics. Now just on the right pane, just look if you see a value. If a value named disable HW acceleration exists, like you see on the screen right now, double click on it and set the value data to 1. If it doesn't exist, create a new D word. Just right click and then click on new and create a new D word. And then name it to disable. HW acceleration. And then right click on it or open it and set the value to 1. And click on OK. Once that is done, you have to restart the computer. Now the next fix you have to do is to disable hardware acceleration in your browser. If you are experiencing Chrome style rendering glitches, that will happen only when loading tabs or scrolling or opening specific sites goes away once the browser stops using GPU acceleration. In that case, you have to do this. For example, I am opening the Google Chrome. And from here, just go to the settings. Now from here, go to system and you will be able to see one option that is use graphic acceleration when available. Just turn this off. Relaunch the browser and then check whether the flicker is happening or not. Now if nothing helps, then the last thing you have to do is to repair system files. Windows include two tools that can repair its own components that is DISM and system file checker. Just open CMD, just type in CMD and run it as an administrator. Now from here use the command SFC space backslash scan now. Now once that is completed, you have to run the next command that is DISM space slash online. space cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health then click on error once the display is stable again you can reintroduce effects and tools until you reach a setup that looks good and stays solid so these are the various ways in which you can try and fix your issues with relate to screen flickering on Windows 11. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share.
Thank you.